Hey guys, it's Jolene at Smith's Nature Friendly Farms. I'm hanging out in the house today and I wanted to show you guys uh, a little donation program that we do each year in hopes that it inspires you to get started on one of your own. So each year uh, we do um, stockings for the homeless. Now, before I get into the stockings, I do want to say that I'm not sharing this because I want you guys to comment down below, good job or kudos. That's not my intent and in fact, please don't do that. Uh, my intentions in sharing this is to spread the idea um, that is my biggest goal in this manner so I'm going to share with you some education on what we do how you can do it and I'm hoping that it inspires others to do it because I think it just spreads kindness in such a great way so let's take a look at what we're doing okay so it starts with a simple stocking and our goal is to fill as many stockings as we can get put together um, and then share them with homeless or people of um, very low income that are struggling to get by. What I usually do is I put a call out on Facebook about November. Uh, you could certainly do it now, it doesn't take very long, but I usually start announcing it in November that we'll be putting together stockings and trying to get people to participate and encouraging others to either donate, well, sometimes it's super simple for people just they want to donate cash and then for some people they want to create their own stockings which is absolutely fantastic if they want to create their own stockings we think that's great too so if you're going to create your own stockings I'm going to give you some ideas here today of what you can include and talk about that process a little bit you do need to be able to be connected to either uh, the low income individuals that you are going to be delivering to or a homeless shelter in order to provide the items um, or some people might even go out on you know Christmas Eve and, and as a family uh, walk an area where they might know that there is um, people that are looking for um, that have the need so completely up to you how you wish to deliver I personally um, I'm, I've got the names that are for the low-income households because we're doing a couple for those um, and they're going to those individuals directly and then we take the rest to the homeless shelter the advantage, um, one thing I will say is when you get donations, there are quite a bit of advantages of donations because when you buy a product, sometimes you get products in fives or like this, you get a product of 12 uh, Chips Ahoy's. So when you are pulling together money, um, you can buy a box of this, getting some good value out of it and put it into multiple stockings. So donations um, do actually make quite a big difference if you're not trying to make one stocking, say, all by yourself. So it can help in that manner. Also, for some people, that's fine. Making a stocking by themselves is no problem. So let's talk about the items. Now, like I said, there could be people of uh, who are homeless or on low-income housing, or not housing, low-income earners, and those individuals might require very different um, items. Because, for example, if you're homeless, you can only take with you whatever items you can carry. Uh, you may not have a roof, you know, over your head. So, you know, weather, rain are all impacting factors. You don't necessarily have electricity or ways to plug an item in or um, heat an item, those types of things. Whereas if you do, you maybe are a low income earner, you're living on a roof, but you have a hard time, you know, buying groceries or, you know, you've got holes in your socks, who knows. Um, those items might be very hard for you to manage when you're, you know, paying out, you know, 90% of your money to rent and living expenses. So, so just think of those two situations uh, a bit differently. So first thing you need for sure is you will need some stockings, depending where you live, the stockings are approximately a dollar a piece. And you can, what I would highly suggest, and actually I would suggest this for multiple different items, including the secondary items here, these toques and mitts, but with the stockings and the toques and mitts, you can actually, if you think you're going to do this year over year, I would get them on box like on in Canada's Boxing Day uh, or after Christmas for the Americans who don't necessarily have Boxing Day um, but you can get these stockings on sale after Christmas and I usually try to buy a bunch of them at half price and then put them away uh, same with these toques and mitts when the season ends you can watch for them to go on sale buy a bunch of them and put them away if you're not um, just you know buy a couple when you're at the the dollar store or if you can get quality ones at Walmart Socks. If I had one thing, I would say absolutely put in every stocking and, you know, put in more than one if you can, is socks. It is the number one thing I read about when I, I follow different individuals who are homeless and share their stories. And I hear socks the most because 
they're hard to keep clean. You don't necessarily have laundry. Um, they wear out, they get dirty, they get smelly, your feet, you're in your shoes all day. So having socks is a big win and fresh socks are such a gift. So make sure every stocking, if you can, includes socks. Now, also, if you're in a colder region, and even in Mississippi, it gets cold. So really, uh, almost any re region, um, toques and mitts. And keep in mind, when you're homeless, you're staying outside often, or you're not staying in a situation where you have access to heat. So toques, mitts are good, good um, products to provide in stockings. Hand warmers are also great. Snacks, without a doubt. Um, snacks are fairly easy to consider and provide. Um, peanut butter. So I've got some peanut butter and crackers that I will include. And I have a little story that goes along with why I'm so passionate about peanut butter. So first off, peanut butter is very nourishing um, and can help um, sustain a person and last a bit longer than say, you know, some crackers. Um, but the reason why I include peanut butter is actually because one day when I was um, volunteering at St. Andrews, they're handing out food hampers and an elderly gentleman came up, he was, um, had a crutch and was like barely walking and he came into the food hamper area and sat down in a chair, he says, I need to sit, I'm just tired. And as he sat there, he said, can I please just have some peanut butter? And the hampers didn't have peanut butter in them, there wasn't enough peanut butter to go around. Um, but the ladies there were super kind and found him some peanut butter and made sure he went home with peanut butter. And that story touched me because now I always think about, you know, what it's like, the difference between what most people want and what he wants. He wants a jar of peanut butter. You know, often many of us are, I want a car or I want the latest game system. And here's a man who wants peanut butter. So it's touch me and peanut butter is a big thing. I try to include it all the time. Would I love to include a car? Absolutely. But I'm not in that position. So um, peanut butter is definitely something in my position. And gift cards are fantastic. Now, sometimes places, food places that are feeding the homeless are not open on Sundays or they have a day of the week that they don't have, they're not serving food. So it's really nice to give uh, a homeless person um, the uh, gift card. They have an option to go somewhere to eat on days when there's no food, free food. This is somewhat frivolous, but it's just a matter of feeling good. I want people to feel good in this life. It makes me incredibly sad that people don't always feel good. So um, I found these for a dollar. They are men's cologne. For the women's, I have perfume. And I hope that just, that's an item of joy. Soap, toiletries, um, anybody who is homeless um, is struggles with, you can't just walk into a place and get a shower as easily as, you know, somebody who has a roof over their head. So providing items that can allow them to use a bottle of water and just kind of tidy up can help a lot. Obviously, you're not likely going to the dentist frequently, so getting your new fancy toothbrush each, you know, every six months can be hard to get as well. Drink uh, crystals. Bottled water can sometimes be hard. I don't you pack bottled water in the stockings. Um, sometimes for folks, it is actually hard to get water. You, you can't just walk up to a tap and get it. So, um, But if they do have bottled water, um, some flavor, just again, it's more of an item of joy. Clean up, Kleenex, you, you think it's just as easy, you know, walk into the bathroom, go blow your nose, but here's the reality. There's not a bathroom necessarily for you to walk into. It's not like you know, McDonald's welcomes you with open arms to come in every day, three times a day to get some Kleenex. That's, that's not, they're not going to like that. So giving them something like the simple as Kleenex, Co chocolates and cookies, always a blessing. Like it's so nice. Who doesn't love a sweet now and then? Um, flashlights. So a flashlight, you have to remember that if you're sleeping on the streets, you don't have a light to turn on in the middle of the night. So if you hear somebody wrestling through your stuff or you are just, you know, nervous, there's no, no light for you to switch on. So a little flashlight gives them the ability to give them a little light in the dark. Clean face cloths, and also I don't have one here, but pillowcases are fantastic to give. Um, when you think about it, you are you may not have your own stuff, and these are small enough that you can have them with you. 
Uh, a pillowcase is fantastic because you can shove your coat in and it gives you something to rest your head on and it's light enough to carry with you. You can also use it as a bag if you absolutely have to. And also nice because it's your own as opposed to when you go to a shelter and you've got to use the pillow that, if they have pillows, you have to use a pillow that some other guy has used. So when you can put your own pillowcase on something, it's, it's nice. Um, these are the same items, kind of similar. These are for females, so I got ladies' socks. Feminine hygiene products, if, if they are homeless, um, can be fantastic for women. Like, those are expensive products to get uh, on your own, so feminine hygiene products. And for men, razors are actually really expensive, so that one's tough to get as well. I got some hair bands, um, shampoos, and more snack stuff. Um, you could also include, um, this is probably the only item I would include of this nature, but I, you could also include ibuprofen. Um, when they are sleeping on the street, it is quite difficult. Uh, you wake up really sore um, because who, who can sleep on concrete comfortably? So um, I think providing uh, ibuprofen is fine. May, you may or may not wish to include that. That's uh, entirely up to you. Um, and, um, of course we steer away from anything, um, that has any kind of like, you know, like we, we don't give allergy medications or anything like that, but, uh, we stay strictly with mostly goodies, um, that type of thing. So I think that's most of it. Um, by all means, put in your comments, what other great ideas you have to include in one of these stockings. And if you start your own, definitely tell me about that. That will make my day super, super great. Awesome, you guys. Well, that's it. That's all. That's our stockings. Be friendly. Be kind.